All right, folks, good morning. Day eight um, of this delivery, 1,700 miles. And uh, we made it, we did the uh, Hudson in, in, in one day. That was pretty incredible. Um, so today we're in Waterford and we're gonna go through that lock right here this morning. Then we'll have a bunch of locks. I think we got like four or five locks. I don't know how many we're gonna hit today. We're gonna hit a lot. We're gonna try and go as far as we can because we wanna do some service work on the boat. And then I may get off in Syracuse, we'll see, or Buffalo. It's a cute little town. I've been here a couple times now. I think that's where me and Pete almost got ate the drone. It is where we almost ate the drone last year. The chief, we are playing around with the drone and uh, it came back on us, it was funny. Ask her if you have a green light. There's the green light. You see that log right there? I saw earlier this summer I was with Jim and we did the western half of the Erie and now we're going to do the eastern half of the Erie on this one. So you can see we made it up our first lock here. Just a little ways to go. Thank you, lock master. You too. See you next time through. Looks like 16. What'd you say? I don't think you cleared that by 10 feet. This is the maintenance yard for the lock system. Why do I love that lawnmower? I love these little towns of Waterford, look at that little houses. It's so cool. So this is the maintenance yard. This is where they do uh, keep all the maintenance equipment for the canal. When they need a piece of equipment, this is where they come. They come check it out. So you guys can see right here, we have these gloves on right here and we just grab these lines right here. I'll use my pole right here and I'll reach over and grab the line. Let's go. 
gentlemen. There's like seven of them in a row. Yeah. Wow. After six, there's a couple of other ones that I don't know if they're. Uh, we're coming in five. Number six is right here. And then this is guard gate one. So I don't know what that is. You gonna go run the stairs this morning, boss? right here because these boats right here they came in and they have thrusters and they lost their thrusters coming in and because it hit that grass right there so uh, if you're not used to driving your boat without a thruster and you get into that stuff you know good luck wasn't pretty watching them come in check the height on this right here should be good see that seaweed right there that's horrible stuff Joel we got plenty of height thank you Me standing up, I couldn't even touch the top. No, the little ones didn't. Uh, the anchor light is our, our highest point. Uh, the antennas, all the antennas are taller than the anchor light. What Joel's doing now is we're gonna go to reverse and we're gonna hit it pretty hard. And that just clears out our props. Oh yeah, a lot of it came out, Joel. We got a stream on each side. Uh, the starboard side, a lot. Uh, port side a little bit We might want to do that again actually there was a lot Look good boss get it. <laughs> How you guys doing? Hey boss, Captain Crunch behind us says uh, he's. Uh, this is their last lock, so we don't have to worry about getting rear-ended again. Awesome, that's good news. <laughs> that's good news. Man, look at that. Grass. 
grass. We do not like the grass. That was a mess going through that. <laughs> All right, guys, this is lock seven for us today. So be halfway to my personal best, which is 15 or 14. And the brushes are gonna go for a new world record of 15, but I don't know. I'm not sure we're gonna do it. Nobody's guaranteeing anything, but Joel says we're gonna try. He's got the right attitude. Lock nine, so this is our eighth lock of today. We're going for the world record. Can we do it, Sarah? <laughs> so I'll be working the pole and the line up front, and I'm working the pole and the line in the rear. In the rear with the gear. thing now what's what do we got 10 down is that number nine or 10 is number nine so we've got eight down but we're halfway there nice and what time do these Aries locks close And these locks are all just stacked right up on top of each other. So it's lock after lock after lock. So four or five miles. How you guys doing? That's 12 locks for us today so far. Three more to break the world record. Two more to tie. And the clock is ticking. So Gregory's fishing, and you know why he gets to fish? Because they shut the big guy down today, and they close the locks at five o'clock, so he can't he can't work me and Sarah anymore. <laughs> no one will be surprised. <laughs> so anyway, Gregory gets to fish for the afternoon. It's raining out, 
and then tomorrow we'll hit the locks hard. We did 14 locks. That's as many locks as you can do, right? I mean, you could, I mean, there's a slight timing issue that you might be able to get out some more, but it, it would be, I would think it almost impossible to, to do that 15 block, but challenging you very, tied record. yeah so yeah. i think we're tied at 14 and nobody that's gonna be tough to beat because it really was a, it's timing it doesn't matter how fast the boat goes it's all slow going it's 10 miles an hour for the most part but anyway we had a great day today tomorrow we're gonna try and make it to uh winter harbor where we're gonna change or we're gonna give the boat some love we're gonna spend i'm gonna beg him to give us eight hours to give the boat some love <laughs> <laughs> anyway we got live music playing over here. Laundromat, this is a nice place. This is a nice little town, St. Uh, Johnsonville. 